Hello YouTube, I'm Eli the Fatigued, joined by the awesome people over on Twitch. People are actually watching my content, this makes me feel awesome and good. We're still sleeping. Oh, we just woke up. Good timing. <laughs> We're playing some more Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Uh, MX Bazooka, my Sifu, can actually trace his lineage back to Ip Man, and he has met his son Ip Chun, who still practices at age 96. Dude, that's so cool. Dude, that is really awesome. Like, I did not expect uh, any of any of that to come from uh, just just doing a, a fun run. Um, that's really cool. Yeah, I love it, man. I love the story. I love the movies. I love Wing Chun. Like, I don't know, man. It's it's really cool, and I'm really like that is so cool. That, that you're, uh, yeah, you are super lucky to be, um, training under someone who has, has met, uh, the son of It Man. That's really awesome. I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Gotta drink some water. go wait so that's good so let's get back to crafting all the things eating moon rocks that is an awesome name and i love it eating moon rocks i can't believe people stream this game this is pretty nice yeah it is isn't it like i love this game and oh no by sorry what's distracted um, yeah, a lot of people stream this game, actually. Well, I say a lot. I think there's, like, popular, um, you know, people that... I think there are, like, two or three that are, like, super popular. The first and primary being, um, Ormithrax, who actually got me into... Well, no, he didn't get me into Cataclysm, but he taught me a lot about it. Um, he, he's definitely the technical master, in my opinion, about, uh, about Cataclysm. <laughs> like, he, he knows a lot about Cataclysm, and he has played a lot of Cataclysm. Uh, and I don't know if Rikon Roleplay streams it, because I haven't watched his content in a while, but he's who got me into, um, Cataclysm in the first place, and he has a, he has a YouTube channel. He's really, uh... He focuses more on the roleplay aspect of Cataclysm, which is really cool sometimes. So, yeah, Eating Moon Rocks, if, if you didn't know, yeah, people stream and record and do all sorts of stuff with this game. Uh, definitely check out those two guys that I mentioned. Uh, they're two of the more popular ones. <clears throat> MX Bazooka, I was thinking about doing a Kung Fu stream one of these days. Sorry, let me work on craft while we're talking. Uh, Kung Fu stream one of these days. I think it would be super fun and everyone should learn self-defense. I agree. I'd like to learn self-defense. Well, okay, to be fair, I know basic self-defense. I don't know, like, martial arts, but I know s some self-defense and I can defend myself because I'm a rather large guy. Uh, but I do agree. Dude, I think that'd be cool. I, I think people would enjoy that. I don't know about me personally, um, but I think people would enjoy that. Uh, especially people who are as uh, as I am. Someone's got to beat up the... Sorry, I don't know if I'm allowed to say those words on Twitch. Uh, given that they can be derogatory. Sorry to hear that, though, by the way. That that people beat you have, have beaten you up. Or if they have... I don't, I don't know. I don't think people should judge people based on their, their gender decisions or, or sexual orientation or race or religion or whatever. And I, I even have a YouTube video, uh, dedicated to, not this topic, but to people enjoying hanging out together. I think people, no matter what they their decisions are in life, 
they can hang out, they can have fun, they can play games, they can do martial arts, they can do and have hobbies together, no matter what their orientation or gender decision or um, race, religion, age. If people want to hang out, have fun, play video games, or, you know, ha have hobbies together, that's good, and we should support and promote that. Uh, yeah. I, 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 think, I think it's really important that, especially given the whole pandemic situation, that humanity stands strong together. Okay, so transphobe isn't derogatory. Okay, fair enough. I'm not the greatest at understanding that kind of... That, that side of, of things. I have a number of friends who have their, their choices, but I'm not the most knowledgeable on it. I'm, I'm going to be the first one to say it. I'm not the most knowledgeable on it, so I do apologize for my... Ignorance. That's the best way to put it. Queer, in your opinion, is only derogatory if you say it with a sh with a crappy attitude. Fair enough. You know that is completely fair. Um, all right, still going. Wait, so we're good. And let's sleep because we're dead tired. Yeah, as I was saying, I think people really need to, you know, band together more and stop being so judgmental and stop stressing about stressing out about other people's decisions. Like, I wish people would just get along. That's kind of what I I want to base my channel around is getting along, having fun, enjoying hobbies and games together. That's that's the important thing to me. Just. Yeah. I seem really shy about it. You get it, but I don't have to be shy. I can ask questions. I mean, I would if I weren't on stream. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. It's... It's something I definitely need to understand better, but it's not something... Not something that's on top of my list, you know? If I had more friends who... Who decided uh, differently, I guess the best... I don't know. Again, yeah, you're right. I'm shy about it. I just don't... Part of it is, for sure, I don't want to offend people. So, knowing the right words to say is important to me. So, like I said, if I had more friends who made those types of choices with their lives, I'd probably be more focused on learning it. Um, but right now, I think I'm good. Thank you, though. Uh, salt. That's a lot of salt. Uh, I think I, did I put drugs over here? No, I put drugs over here. Because they were interfering with my everything else. Salt. And... Cornmeal. That's gasoline, not cornmeal. <laughs> yes, just drop all my gasoline all over my food. Oh, gosh. That's uh, horrifying. Gasoline covered everything. All right. Back to the game. Probably eat some of this stuff. 
seven or old. So, Deluxe Scrambled Let's do it. Let's just do Deluxe Scrambled Egg. I think it's two per. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough, MX Bazoo. Bacon, uh, little meat. Oh, I forgot to light the fire again. There we go. Powdered egg. Thought I didn't do that. Uh. The one old. Oh, rotten. It's already gone rotten. Fair enough. Get this far away from the base. Pies, cheese fries, pizzas, burritos. Oh, all oh, that's rotten. That is just rotten, honestly. That is sad. Sad, sad day right there. Scissor Jack in there. F in chat. Thanks, MX Bazooka. So the next stuff that gets old is that egg. Let's see if we can find it. I doubt we'll be able to find it until it gets rotten. Alright, fair enough. Anyway, let's uh, do something else. We got a lot of salt. <laughs> and we got the potential for a lot more. Holy crap, that's hilarious, and I love that I found that. Uh, so we're never, we're gonna, not going to have to worry about food. Ever. Ever, ever. Ever, ever, ever. ever. Um, okay. We got the weapon. That was one of the main goals the past several episodes. We've got the Humvee. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Outpost, fire watchtower. I kind of still want to go down to this fire watchtower, so let's, let's do that. Um, oh, I totally forgot I was going to check on the milk. Is the milk rotten? The milk is rotten. Oh. Alright, gallon jug milk. Unload. Pour on ground. Unload. Pour on ground. Unload. Run grab. Alright, so we're gonna have to grab some other stuff, which I think that's why I made the granola in the 
first place, if I remember right. Granola, let's make some more. Wait, no, milk was for hydration. But let's let's make some more granola. In. Syrup. Mmm, peanut butter and maple syrup. Yeah, F and chat again. Thanks, Bazooka. Oh, yeah, all the things going rotten, sadly. Um, let's get this to 30% and then just head out with the granola we already have. I shouldn't have made that many at once. Alright. Grab. Oh. Granola. Okay, so granola, we got food. Let's get some water. Let's get some orange soda. How about that? Yeah. And probably grab some water as well. Gallon jug, clean water. That'll do. Let's unload my canteen of gasoline. Canteen of gasoline, I love that. Yeah, I hate seeing rotten food too, MX Bazooka. I always want to make sure to try and eat it beforehand, but sometimes you just forget. Like, it's it's a fact of my life, anyway. There we go. Now we have an only slightly gasoline-smelling canteen around the hip. Um... Unload. Gallon jug of clean water into the canteen. Now we got some water on me. And we should be go. Okay. So. We're going to the fire watchtower. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. <laughs> I finally got the right angle on it. Uh, it's the only thing that actually legitimately disgusts you. You're in healthcare. You've done post-mortem stuff. You wipe butts. Totally fine with all that. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I, I just like rotten food myself, even in real life. Yeah. It's, yeah. Oh, I have a story that people may or may not want to hear. This is a disgusting story that may... It has to do with rotten food inside of a fridge that's been sitting since a hurricane. Uh, if you smell rotten meat or see mold growing or something, you will dry you for the next five minutes. Okay, maybe I shouldn't tell my story then. Um, because it's, it's got to do with a really terrible fridge that was... It out in the sun for probably a week after a hurricane down in Texas when I was working at an appliance uh, company. Appliance repair company. Ego Torres. Ego Sorai. Torosorai. Ah, uh, bloody zombie. your interest now you want to hear it all right so i was working at a friend's appliance repair company down in texas i don't remember which hurricane it was it was you know it might have been a month afterward actually now thinking about it 
it, it had been sitting out in the sun for a long, long time after the hurricane because it was completely busted, right? Or so they thought. Uh, my friend, what he would do is he would repair people's appliance, uh, appliances for free after a hurricane. Water damage, if the tank busted for the Freon or whatever, he would repair it for free after a hurricane to make sure they could keep their food cold and they wouldn't have to buy a new one or weights and yeah really awesome dude so let me, let me focus a little bit on the game here but there was this fridge one day I, I you know I was I was the helper I would do everything that needed to be help that needed to be done around the place one of those things was cleaning fridges we got Sometimes people didn't want their fridges, uh, even if he could repair them. So they would just give them to him for free after a hurricane. And then he would clean them up, repair them, and then sell them for cheap to people who needed them, or their families. So not only would he repair stuff for free, he would then also, if people didn't want to keep the appliances, and just give them to him for free because they were destroyed or... In this case, I'll, I'll explain, continue explaining in a second, he would sell it cheaply to people who really desperately needed appliances. This really cool guy. So anyway, this fridge one, this fridge one day, we pick it up off the side of the road. Very unassuming, just on the side of the road, and he, he got it for free. And... I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. So, it's duct taped, right? It is fully duct taped around the top and the bottom. There's probably about six, six layers of duct tape. Or six layers. Is that the right way to say it? Six windings of duct tape? Whatever. Um, and that, that should have been our first clue, right? Oh my gosh. I don't know if you've ever smelled rotten Dr. Pepper mixed with rotten butter and rotten steak and just rotten eggs and the smell of rotting meat, rotting butter, rotting Dr. Pepper. I didn't even know rot Dr. Pepper could rot, but it smelled like it was that sickly sweet smell of decay mixed with Dr. Pepper and oh my gosh it was so bad there were eggs and and butter and there was milk oh sorry am I smashing into a boulder yep I'm smashing into a boulder sorry um just this sickly sweet almost like a too sweet sugar smell mixed in with all those other things and oh my gosh <clears throat> I was dry heaping the whole time thankfully I was given gloves mainly because bleach to be fair because we bleach it out we would sanitize it we would clean it up whatever fridges we got Cause we got some pretty bad ones before that right but this one it took the cake. It still makes me sick thinking about it. That was a nightmare fridge. And it's why I don't clean for refrigerators anymore. Even personal. Like when I had roommates, I was like, guys, I can't clean refrigerators anymore. Like that memory. I, I told you, MX Bazooka, I did tell you it was disgusting. Like I did put a content warning in front of that story. Um. <clears throat> But no, I cleaned it out, and it was very nice and sanitized, and we repainted it, got rid of all the rust, and, like, it was a really good fridge, but, like, the cleaning, oh, we agreed never to pick up one that was duct tape again. <laughs> You did not listen. That was your fault. Exactly. Yes. You said it. You said it, my friend. 
Oh, man. Yeah, it's making me sick just thinking about it already. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that was... Not my favorite job. He's a good guy, though. Good friend. We had a lot of fun together. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> that is a huge boomer. I don't want to punch that. It's it, absolutely horrifying. I, yeah. 100%, I agree. That was... That was one of my jobs in the past. Oh my gosh. The Survivor... What is it? Survivor Fighting Gauntlet? Mixed with Wing Chun. And my stat. To be fair, I have high stats. But, wow. It's like one-shotting things. I have them on 125% endurance. Nuts. Okay. <clears throat> That's not my M4, right? No, I've got my own on me. It's M4 plus 4. I'll take that cash card. And that cash card. And that cash card. Holy crap. Oh, man. And the thing is, I still drink Dr. Pepper to this day. Like, I still love Dr. Pepper. Hey, infrared goggles! That's what I was looking for in this pair of section. The crit blouse. Military jacket. Huh. Shaolin style staff. I could probably make one, to be honest. Military ID card? Yeah. Military ID card? One of these guys was a military zombie. <clears throat> Come on. Dang it. No military ID card. I think there's actually like a quarter staff. But I don't think you can use the core staff as an unarmed weapon, which means you can't use the the combat style with a, a weapon. <clears throat> There's a quarter staff and an iron shod quarter staff, but unfortunately, only weapons that have the <clears throat> where is it? This weapon can be used with unarmed fighting styles. Only weapons that have that can be used with stuff like Wing Chun. Alright. Let's, uh, catch breath. Motorcycle. Looks okay. That one's... Not great, unfortunately. But this one is drivable. Yeah. Get that up there. Maybe we'll remember where where the vehicle position is at. <clears throat> All right. I at least want to get this the top of this before we end the episode. Hello, survivor zombie. Come at me. Schmackadoo. A Checker's Guide to the Cataclysm. Okay, I gotta read that. I forget if it's actually any good. No, it's just a fun book, I think. A Remington. Don't, don't underestimate staff. Long range, crush your skull like a coconut. Not a bad choice for fighting zombies. No, yeah, absolutely. I think the staff... Uh, quarter staff. 
Oh, it doesn't actually have ranged attack. There are weapons that have ranged attacks, but... Yeah, you'd think a 70-inch weapon would have a rage attack. Let's see, what what is the spear? <clears throat> yeah, stone spear, 70-inch reach attack. Maybe I didn't see it. Yeah, no. No reach attack. Weird. If they had a reach attack, I think the quarterstaff would be supremely overpowered and wonderful. Because it's super simple to make. Alright, we're at the top of the watchtower. Ooh, solar panels. Eat. I can install those in my vehicle. I'm overburdened. Alright. What do we see with the long range scope? Mega store. Might have to check that out. See if there's actually anything useful. Ooh, a butcher shop. Ah, uh, the butcher shop probably is all uh all rotten. <clears throat> oh there we go. A military bunker. Alright, so yeah, it was definitely worth coming to this uh Fire Lookout Tower to take a look at the surroundings. And I still need to go take a look at that helipad. I never did. <clears throat> Alright. YouTube, I need to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you have enjoyed any dimension of this episode. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.